the worst tenant I had that I literally rented my room out for about $600, right? I didn't put any paperwork in it. I felt bad. He was uh, he was having trouble with his credit and he couldn't get a house and he needed a room and his family was living with his parents and his fam parents really didn't like him. So I was nice enough to rent out my room for him for about $600. I didn't do no deposit, no paperwork. Absolutely biggest mistake. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have information about other than just buying a home, you can actually rent out what you're doing for those people who aren't married, who think they, they still shouldn't uh, invest in a house. Most single people can actually invest in a house and do really well in it. So just give me just a second and we'll get right into that information. Okay, and to continue, what I mean by that is all you have to do is make it to where as soon as you buy a house with whatever you can qualify for, just rent out the other room and it will make it a lot cheaper for you. So if you're spending $1,200 on a room and you rent out a two bed, one bath, and you rent out the other room for $600, you're only paying $600 a month, which is really good for you because I mean, why not? Why would you not just do something to make your life easier? and then as you get you know better at it making more money sell that home or rent out that other room use your VA loan again and just buy another property with it and just keep doing it that way so there's very very many ways that you can uh, invest your money well while you're single you don't have to be married although it makes it easier to buy a more expensive house and try to sell it but you can buy anything that makes uh, it worth the while so you might want to just do a little bit of your math average like you charge people six hundred eight hundred dollars for just a room alone not including everything so that that's just the benefit of what you can do with that and you don't even have to pay half the rent. But words of advice, make sure you have a lease with that room that's renting out and make sure you get a deposit because if you don't, it just creates a lot of hassle and it's just rough. And if you're trying to rent out to your friend, make sure you have paperwork too as well. I mean, I know it's your friend and whatever, but they might end up being able to fuck you over and you really, so. you really just don't want that problem because then you're just gonna be left with cleaning a room all by yourself and you just have to have rules for other people to follow so that way you're not let down and expectations are still there. So that's just the advice for that. Now, most of this information I'm giving you is uh, renting out your room for whatever price it is for your area. Like in California, that's just the average that most people can rent out a room for, but maybe if you're from like Ohio, Florida, or any of those East Coast states, it might only be 300, but also your rent's not as much, so it kind of just makes sense to, if you rent out the other room, just make them pay half the rent and makes it easier for you. But like I said, if you know any of my videos, I talk about the VA loan, and FHA loan, and if you use both of them wisely, you're pretty much guaranteed success and extra rooms for you to make money and start a career and just building up a portfolio, especially if you're in the military, like I said, you're gonna be at a command for at least three years. So if you buy a house when you get there your first year, by the time you're leaving, you can either refinance and make a conventional loan, or you can just uh, rent it out, or you can just sell it, which the value of California houses usually go up. Probably three years, you could probably get about $60,000 in return of whatever you're gonna sell it for. So, I mean, you can leave to go to your next state with $60,000 with a bigger money down, qualify for a more bigger house, and then literally just use the VA loan to pay for that. So, this is why that you need to do your homework, invest, and make sure wherever you're going next, make sure you understand the market before you just start buying things because that's the biggest advice. You don't want to just buy something and somehow it just doesn't work out and you're just stuck with the house that you're really not happy with. and you can't sell it because no one wants that house so it has to be a pretty good market for you to be able to do that and it's something that should make sense to you as a person and as an investor the reason i talk about getting paperwork for whatever room you're renting out is because the worst tenant i had that i literally rented my room out for about six hundred dollars right i didn't put any paperwork in it i felt bad he was uh he was having trouble with his credit and he couldn't get a house and he needed a room and his family was living with his parents and his fam parents really didn't like him. So I was nice enough to rent out my room for him for about $600. I didn't do no deposit, no paperwork. Absolutely biggest mistake because when he left, he left the room trash. Like I'll leave pictures around cause I still have them about like, this was a 37 year old who left my room trash. Like. 
37 year olds, you would think that most people would be mature enough to clean before they leave, especially when you're nice enough to let them live in your house when they had nowhere to go except sleep in the car or in his office. Like, I mean, I thought it was being a nice guy and this dude was just left me like whatever. So like I said, make sure you get a deposit because no one's gonna leave their room messy if you do get a deposit. So don't spend their deposit unless you can make up for it and you can give it back because in the end, no one's leaving that room without getting their deposit back. So you can go there and inspect it yourself like, yeah, this needs to get clean or you're not getting your money back. And there's no argument there because they want their money back. But since I didn't get a deposit, he just got up and left because his uh, business was doing well enough to where he could rent another house. Not a house, but a, um, a studio apartment, wherever it was at. So I was like, all right, whatever. He left the key under the mat and left the room a mess. And I kind of flipped out on him because I was telling about how immature a 37 year old can be. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, I would think that, you know, I had texted him, I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna clean your room. I'm gonna be the adult because you can't do it yourself. I never got a text back, so I'm pretty sure he was not, yeah, he's just not a good person, and I hope I don't see what his house looks like when he ends up um, buying one because he did not keep that room clean. When he left, it smelled like ham, and I'm like, why does this room smell like ham? Like, it should not smell like ham. And before he left, I told him, I was like, you need to clean your room before you leave. And he didn't even help us clean, like, a lot. He cleaned the bathroom once in the four months he stayed here. Cleaned it once, and I'm always here, me and my wife are always cleaning the house and stuff like that. Granted, we let him stay in his room alone. We really didn't allow him out in the living room and stuff like that. He'd use the kitchen and the uh, bed, the bedroom that he was renting because that just makes sense. Like, if you start building a relationship with somebody, it makes it a lot harder to do the um, right things, like kicking them out because they're not paying rent. Which was another thing, is that this dude, I gave him so many opportunities, like the first month, he was late for rent by like eight days. And I'm like, bro, like you can't do that. Like I'm telling you right now that you're not gonna be staying here much longer if you're not gonna be paying rent. So then fast forward the next month, this dude only gave me $300 for rent for the first, uh, the very beginning of the month and then paid me the rest of my money literally like seven days later. I mean, half of it was all right, but I mean, He's a 37 year old who thought investing his money versus paying his rent and having a place to live. And he was like, dude, you need to chill. Like, at least you got $300. I'm like, bro, I want you to go to your next place that you're gonna be renting from and tell them like, yeah, bro. Like an actual landlord, tell them that, yeah, I'm only gonna get paid you half because I invested the rest of my money and I knew I was gonna have other money. Like, no, it wasn't guaranteed. So I got mad at him. I told him I was straight up. I was like, all right, whatever. And I was working for him as like a side job selling stuff that really didn't work out because there was just too much tension the Navy was just really hard to try to make a uh, side job out of it especially as bound was times he wanted me to go out and do stuff so I couldn't do it and I left it alone and being the nice guy that I am I allowed him to use my Wi-Fi which most uh, since he was letting me work with them I was like all right whatever I'll let him use the Wi-Fi but you don't have to let someone use your Wi-Fi if it's not included in their room like when he first moved in he told me he's like yeah dude as far as I'm concerned that room is my room and whatever it's like I'll stay right there and whatever and then he started kind of venturing out more and trying to like become more part of the house and I was like wasn't just having that like as a uh, whatever however old age you are you have to be firm with what you want because if not people are gonna walk over you and that's just not okay you don't want people to walk over you because when you start getting older and you start buying properties and say you become a property manager it's good to practice now while you're trying to rent out your room so that way when you're getting into bigger houses, more money's involved, you're actually doing it right and not doing something wrong. So yes, just do your, like, I don't care what you do, make a lease, go to a real estate agent, you can probably Google away and, and online paperwork for that and just take it to an attorney, have them read over it, make sure it's all good and well so that way no one can sue you over a false uh, document and that's just how you do that. And then you make them sign it and then you're pretty much guaranteed to have a a well-maintained room and a lot less fuckery will come out of that so like i said this is just how you guys should learn from my mistake like i don't make a lot of mistakes because i try to keep it minimum but 
you know, me as a person, I trust everybody until you give me a reason not to trust you. And that's just something good for me that I enjoy doing. It's like, I trust people until you lose my trust. But once you lose my trust, I promise you, you will not get that back for a very long time. So, and I just want him to be like, cause he didn't apologize or anything. Like he didn't leave nothing saying, bro, I'm sorry about the room not being clean. He didn't say that he left it messy. I had to come in and see it myself. Like, I felt like a parent just walking into my room, just like, Wow, he really did not clean. Like, how many 22 year olds feel like a parent to a 37 year old? I mean, I got that under my belt. So that was just like really whatever. I also signed my page 13 a couple weeks ago, so I'm getting out next year. Super excited for that and looking forward to what opportunities are going to be arising in the future for me. So stay tuned for more videos because I'm going to have more information and I get to take that real estate test and probably mid-May and hopefully get my license before I leave for about whenever I leave for and then I come back whenever I come back. So I'll make a video for whenever I come back and I'll leave pictures for whatever I was doing out at sea. But this has been a video from Josh Perkins. Please hit that like, notification, subscribe, and share and repeat the circle.